Hi and welcome to Hosting is Easy. My name is John and today we're going to learn how to host an ARC server. It's uh, not quite as easy as some of our other hosting videos, but it's in no way, shape or form a difficult task. Um, this, all of this should take about five minutes and um, once you're done, you can officially host a ARC server yourself. Um, this video, like many others, is hosted, um, sponsored even, by gameservice.com. Uh, the guys are really great, and you should check them out if you ever want a TeamSpeak or game server. Uh, let's get right into it. So, first of all, we need to download Steam CMD. The easiest way to do that is to go to the link in our description and uh, scroll down, and you will see the download zip file. Just press that and download it. In case you need a... Um, a zip file decompiler, there is a link to the free software WinRAR. Now, what you need to do uh, once you've downloaded it is open a file and at the same time also please navigate to a uh, folder of your choice where you want to install your game. I have a game folder, well actually a game hard drive, um, and what I do is I'm going to put a folder there called steamcmd1 and then I'm going to extract the steamcmd.exe into it. Now once you've done that you just double click it and run it and once you've run it for the first time you can go back into that folder and you will see the following all these files uh, that have initialized out of the uh, the original download. Now what you need to do then is create a folder in there for your game. I have conveniently called mine Arc Server. And uh, what you do is you go into that. And now let's take a break of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do our port forwarding to allow our Arc Server to communicate with the world. So what I need you to do is to navigate to the IP address of your router which in my case is 192.168.0.1. Should yours be different, it will be on the back of your router. Um, same as a password, normally when you, if you haven't changed it before, just use admin. Log in and depending on what router you have, this is going to be in a different place. Head over to the advanced settings and then find the port forwarding. Now we're going to set up three different port forwards. Um, they're all services. Um, I'm going to call mine Arc Servers 1 through to 3. And the first start port we're going to use is 27015. That's the start and end port, and we're going to make that a UDP. Now, what we need is we need to find our own IP. What you can do with that is you can either use your static IP or your dynamic IP. You can find your dynamic IP by navigating to your um, to your uh, command prompt, and basically what you do is you just type in IP config and then choose the IPv6 or IPv4 address, which in this case will be 14 for me, and um, you add the rule. Then the second one is quad seven start and end port, UDP, and the same IP address, and we just add that. Now, the last one is a TCP rule, uh, which is 32330, and that's the start and end port, and we add that again. And that's all of our um, port forwarding done. Just remember to save your changes, so you're not going to have a good time. Now, once we're done with that, let us go into Steam CMD again. which takes a little while, and once that's done, what we need to do is we need to find the... We need to actually log in first, I believe. Which you can just type into Steam CMD, login anonymous, press enter, and it will connect you to the Steam library. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to find the folder that we want to install the server in, uh, which in this case would, would be my Arc server. If you click into the top bar, it will show you the um, file location. 
what we need now need to do is um, we need to memorize that or, or write it down so that we can type it into the command prompt of Steam CMD. So what you need to do is write force inst for, well it's force underscore install underscore directory duh, and then the directory that you're going to install your game to. Once you've done that, hit enter and it will come up with another line add up app underscore update space 376030 space validate and hit enter. Now what this is going to do is going to download a copy of the game as well as all the server files. The um, upside of this is that it's going to run entirely on its own and the download speeds are usually quite phenomenal because you're connected directly to the Steam servers. Now what you're going to do in the meantime is you are going to create a new text file um, you can do that using Notepad or TextPad or Notepad++ and we are going to add a prompt in there which you will find in the description of this video as well as on the screen if you pause it now. And basically what this is going to become, it's going to become our launch button for our server. Once you've added this text into the text file, what I need you to do is save as and then you can call it whatever you want, but please call it star underscore server dot bat and save that. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and go into the folder where we've just downloaded the game and go into Steam Apps and add it there. And basically, all you do then is double click on the Steam Apps. Uh, on, on the um, start server button and it will start up the game and the server. Then you just need other people to connect to your IP. Now, the downside of this is that should you have a very slow internet connection, you will need to either get a faster internet connection or hire a server online. You can do that at our partners game servers. Thank you very much and I hope you have fun. Should you have any issues, please comment.